22, this is what we're going to talk about. We're talking about fractions of a group. Uh, let me ask you something. What's bigger, one fourth or one half? Okay, uh, let me clarify. What's bigger, one half of this class or one fourth of the school? Okay, so when I say uh, what's bigger, one half or one fourth, you're assuming that I'm talking about one half of one and one fourth of one. Well, one half is bigger than one fourth if you're just talking about a whole. But if you're talking about a group or a, a number, like one half of 20 or one fourth of 100, then it does, it, you have to be more specific, okay? So we're gonna learn how to find a fraction of a number. So you could probably easily find out what half of this class. How many people are in this class and what's half of that number? How do you figure that out? You you just do what? How do you find half of something? What do you do? Grace? Divide it by two. So how do you find a, a third of something? Divide it by three. How do you find a fourth of something? Divided by four, okay? So you can find a fraction of something by just dividing it by that whatever that denominator is. How do you find an elephant of something? Divided by, Divide by, by elephant. elephant, that's it. Wait, wait, okay? a little bit of a dilemma. There's not an even amount of people. It has to be like five and a half people. Yeah, that could be, uh, that could be a little violent, okay? Um, so, fractions of a group. Let's start with just an example. Let's say I wanted to find a third of 27. What's one third of 27? I'm thinking. Whoa, you got it before I wrote the word thinking. Yeah, nine because you just say 27 divided by three equals nine. Okay, that's how you find a third of something, right? You divide by three. So if a third of 27 is nine, what's two thirds of 27? 18. Whoa, you got that quick. What'd you do? You just multiplied it by two. You multiply by two, you added another nine. So if one apple is nine pounds, two apples is 18 pounds, right? Look at the apples. That's a, that's a big apple. Okay, so um, two-thirds of 27 is, um, well, 27 divided by 3 is 9, and then 9 times 2 is 18. So here's the shortcut. Ready? So two-thirds, a fraction of a number, divide the big number by the denominator, and then multiply it by the numerator. Okay. So a third of 27 is nine. So two of those thirds, two of those nines is 18. Okay, see if you can do this one on your own. Ready? Two fifths of 30. What's two fifths of 30? 10. Nope. Oh, I read that. Nope, you're wrong. Uh, That'd be two sixths of 30. Kiara, what is it? 12? Yep. Oh, okay. Okay, how'd you get 12? What'd you do? Um, well, I divided, I thought that like maybe six, so I divided six. So how'd you get six? No, I just thought because like six is, is a fact of 30. Okay, so. so then you checked it, six times five is 30, boom. Okay, so one fifth, one fifth it's of 30 six. is six, right? Six times two is 12. So two sixes, is 12. So all you're doing is dividing by the denominator and multiplying by the numerator, right? That's it. Do you have to get approval to say if that's it or not? That's it. That's it. What's happening? Okay, Kiara. That's Kiara. not it. What's the like, number? Is it like the square root? Yeah. Six. Where? Oh, Where? The six six apostrophe S. Two sixes oh. is 12. I thought yeah. it was like six apostrophe S. Yeah, no, that's not mathy. 
Well, I guess it could be six prime. Well, never mind. Okay, um, so if you want, like your book might ask you to draw a diagram, two fifths. Well, if I break it up into fifths, my mom made banana bread last night. I think yeah. I had a fifth of the loaf. Don't judge me. It's really good. Yes. I would like the end to be one fifth. Okay, so if this is 30, and this represents all the 30, so what's one fifth? Well, that's got to be a six, right? So two of those it's one fifth. is 12, right? Okay. Yeah. How are we doing? Does this feel all right? Anyone know another way to do this? Two fifths of 30? Does anyone have another way to do this? It's okay if you don't. I'm gonna show you in a week or two. Hunter, do you know? Yeah, you just use your brain because you're smart. Okay, well that's what we're doing anyway. Kiara? Maybe divide the, divide the number by the, like 30 divided by, um, the, the five. Five. and then multiply by two so that's what we're doing but we're doing it more logically like well a fifth of 30 has got to be six because when you find a fifth of something you divide it by five 30 divided by five is six so two of those five, two of those sixes is 12 okay anyone have another way to do this okay I'm going to show you another way in a, a couple of weeks. Do you have another way? Yes. So of in math means multiply, right? So how do you multiply fractions? Two fifths times, how do you multiply a fraction times a whole number? Well, you can only multiply fractions with fractions. So how do you change a whole number into a fraction? Do you know? Yes. Guess? Or what'd you say? Yes, you do. Okay, how do you do it? Um, so you take the whole number, um, and if it's like, for example, if your your denominator is five, you can you just put nope. five five. So it's thirty over one. So that's how you turn a whole number into a fraction. You just throw it over one, right? How do you? What's sixty four as a fraction? Sixty four over one. Because what's sixty four divided by one? Sixty four. So you can fractionate everything. So you can fractionate an elephant. Well, how do you write elephant as a fraction? Elephant. elephant over one. So now look at what we can do. Do you know how to do this? Uh, do you know how to, have we talked about multiplying fractions yet? Yes. Okay, so how do you multiply fractions? What do you do? Yeah, Hunter? Cross cancellation. Yeah, so you know what you're doing? You're dividing by five. This is what we did above. And then you can multiply across two times six equals 12. Look at that. Okay, so that's another way to do it. I like doing it this way. I don't like to actually think about dividing 30 into different groups and then counting those groups. I don't like doing that. I just like doing math. Of means multiply in math. Two, thir two fifths times 30, cross cancel, multiply across, you're done. Okay, that's not bad, is it? Okay, um, so this is very similar to this type of problem. What is 80% of 40? Anyone know how to find 80% of 40? Do you know? How? Well, the answer is uh, 5. So it's not five. It's Anyone know how to find a percent of a number? A percent is just a fraction, right? Do you know how to say 80 per cent as a fraction? Do you know? It's eight over 10. Yeah, so 80 per cent per is like that little like $2 per apple. That's just a division sign. 80 per cent. Well, that can be reduced to like 8 tenths. And now you know how to do 8 tenths of 40. What's 1 tenth of 40? What's 1 tenth of 40? Yeah. 4. 4. So what's 8 fours? 
What's eight tenths of 40? Hunter? 32. 32, so eight times four. 40 divided by 10 is four, times eight is 32. So you can find a percent of a number um, because a percent is something out of 100. So if you can find a hundredth of a number, well, you don't really have to because you can reduce that to eight tenths or even four fifths, right? Eight tenths is the same thing as four fifths. Four fifths of 40, well, a fifth of 40 is eight. Four eighths is 32, okay? So finding the percents, you can do that the same way as finding a fraction of a number because a percent is just a fraction. It's just, we just know the denominator. It's always 100. Okay, does this feel all right, guys? Now, just like in most concepts in math, there's multiple ways to do things. If I was finding the percent of a number, you can change it, instead of changing it to a fraction, you can change it to a decimal. 0. 0.8 times 40 is also 32, okay? Um, but we can talk about that later. So far, so good? You good? All right. Black math! Give me some math and I'll give you some flat.